Well, South Indian Bank is surging in trade, reacting to its Q3 earnings. Abhishek joins in with the earnings. Fine print. Abhishek, over to you. Uh, well, uh, other income aids ROA, that is return on asset above 1% uh, for the first time in many quarters for uh, South Indian Bank. Take a look at the net interest income. It's declined both YOY and quarter on quarter and that is on account of the fact that cost of funds have weighed in, which I'll explain later. Uh, their other income was at 452 crore, up about 27.2% on a sequential basis. This has meant uh, that uh, they have also seen a decline in provisions, so other income and decline in provisions have meant that part has grown by 197% YOY and about 11.1% quarter on quarter. Deposit growth is weaker than the system growth. Deposit growth is at 9.5% YOY and about 2.1% sequentially. So for this 2.1% sequential growth, they have seen their interest expense rise by more than 5% on a sequential basis. Advances growth uh, that is below the industry level on a YOY basis coming in at 10.9% YOY and about 3.8% sequentially. Asset quality that that has improved gross NPA ratio and net NPA ratio are down on a sequential basis. And as I mentioned, a return on asset that for the first time in many quarters has grown above 1%. And that is what has, uh, you know, seen investors' interest on stock today. Back to you. Okay. All right, Abhishek. Uh, thanks very much for that. So that's the view coming in on or that's the analysis which is rather coming in on South Indian Bank, which is reacting very well to its numbers.